you won't believe since then I am having acne issues. I never used to have acne issues on my face. Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Indu. I make videos on makeup, skincare, hair care and lifestyle. And for today's video, I am back with part 2 of things you should never put on your face. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. So the first ingredient is toothpaste. I feel like a lot of people might have once in a point used toothpaste as a spot treatment. Guilty. Reason being that toothpaste has ingredients like sodium bicarbonate or baking soda and also hydrogen peroxide, the ingredients that are known to kill bacteria and dry out your skin. However, if you have watched my part 1 that I'll link somewhere on the screen, you would know why you shouldn't be putting baking soda on your face. I uh, will tell you that it is very alkaline for the skin and our skin's pH balance is acidic so it basically over dries out your skin which you do not need. Also one thing I forgot to mention that toothpaste contains calcium carbonate which is an abrasive ingredient in itself because it is used to remove plaque from your teeth. I don't think you would want anything to remove from your skin. Your skin is pretty smart by in that way so don't disturb it please. It also contains ingredients like menthol, mint, spearmint, peppermint which can not only burn your skin but also over irritate it and, and also lead to an another pimple. So yeah, please stay away from that. Now moving on to the second ingredient that is ACV or apple cider vinegar. So apple cider vinegar has been used as a natural um, toner for your skin. But the thing is that ACV or apple cider vinegar is very acidic for your skin. So essentially it is drying out your skin, imbalancing your pH and damaging your skin. So please stop using ACV as a toner, instead uh, invest in good toners. There are so many options in the market for toners. So please choose a toner that fits your budget or your liking rather than experimenting with your skin. So the third ingredient is coffee scrubs and note that I'm talking about raw coffee ingredient not about your products that has coffee in it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about putting raw coffee or using raw coffee as a scrub. The problem with coffee scrub is that the shards of the coffee are not equal in size. So certain ones might be more sharper and more pointier than the other ones. In addition, co coffee does not dissolve with water. So the more you scrub, the worse and worse it's gonna get. So please don't use coffee as a scrub. Now moving on to the fourth ingredient that is Vaseline or any petroleum jelly. Now the thing is Vaseline might be good for chapped lips, dry hands, dry elbows, dry knees or dry, dry heels or whatever but they are not good for the skin because Vaseline is a covering agent. It's very thick and heavy for the skin. Now here's the thing, our skin has a barrier, right? And you know what, you are never really alone because there are small and cute little bacteria that are always sitting on your face and having their sweet little time. Think this is your skin's barrier, right? and bacteria, cute little bacteria are having their own sweet little time and then you are applying Vaseline like this. It's a uh, covering agent, it's very thick. So it's forming like a ceiling on top of your skin's barrier and forming like a beautiful disco for the bacteria to party inside. So after that what happens? The crowd multiplies every minute and basically the bacterial count increases in number and more bacteria means infection or it will lead to more pimples, more acne, more acne means post inflammatory pigmentation, damaged skin, acne scars, acne marks and what not. So please don't use Vaseline on your face. The last one 
is my favorite okay because i had a toxic relationship with this little ingredient right there and that is garlic all right let's have a story time right so there was a girl who never had any pimple or acne issues in her entire life and one fine day she gets a pimple and she freaks out and she goes to the internet and starts searching uh, she comes across a YouTube video and in the video the experts uh, suggests to apply garlic on the pimple that was there as a spot treatment overnight and your pimple is gonna vanish the next day and guess what the sweet little girl did the same thing and the only difference was that she woke up with literally blisters on her acne the pimple or acne was turned into a burnt blister and you know what who's that girl that's me okay now you get that uh, how and why did i had a toxic relationship with this ingredient i believe that garlic is very alkaline and it is very it's a very strong ingredient you cannot apply raw garlic on your face i can't even imagine and since then you won't believe since then i am having acne issues i never used to have acne issues on my face and since then i'm having acne issues and i'm still i'm still dealing with my acne and trying to get that over but uh, yeah anyways please don't put this ingredients on your face uh with that we have finished the video i hope you like the video and if you did then please don't forget to like share subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notified every time i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye